Tonight, a big Bay Area school district is reporting some good results with a new approach to discipline. Instead of punishing students, they're forcing them to face their issues head on. Ann Notarangelo is in Oakland tonight to tell us how it all works. Ann? And Alan, suspensions at this middle school are down considerably. This year, so far, they've only had four. Last year at this time, they already had 14. And the principal here says it's in part to a program called Restorative Justice. We'll like start out with a checking question. I sat like down with six knows. peer mediators at Edna Brewer Middle School who showed me how restorative justice works. Instead of the knee jerk reaction of suspending a student for something like fighting, they're sent to a circle. We bring those two people in the room along with witnesses that have seen the fight to, to say their side of what happened. They also deal with bullying and social media issues. Usually people are really willing to talk about it. Last year we had a conflict where two people got in a fight and I. Uh, to this day, I see like them hanging around each other. Oakland Unified says it's working district wide. After 10 years of gradual implementation, the district released its first report <laughs> that points to results. Creating a sense of community at schools has dropped absenteeism, increased reading levels, and reduced dropout rates. It's also more fair. Clearly, we see suspension rates going down, and in fact, we've even seen uh, racially disproportionate discipline of African Americans. Uh, eliminated at some of our schools. A researcher from Florida sat in on this interview as this form of discipline gets national attention. The principal says the bottom line punishing the bad out of kids doesn't work. But it's not necessarily touchy feely either. It's a lot more difficult than being punished um, to have to sit in a circle across from the person you harmed. They don't see many repeat offenders. Maybe because what students learn in the circle, they're using in the halls. They get to understand what they did wrong and what the other person did wrong. They get to come up with agreements of what they can do better. Schools across the Bay Area are implementing their own restorative justice programs. Here in Oakland, 27 of the 86 schools in the district are already participating, and they plan next year to expand into more elementary schools. In Oakland, Anna Darangelo, KPIX 5. Now, the state still mandates suspension for sexual assault or bringing a knife, drugs, gun, or explosive to school.